Hello and welcome to the channel. I'm Ian, G0VGS. Uh, a few people have asked me um, about the mission RG01 um, and the kind of current levels uh, that they would be likely to see using this radio. Um, it's obviously going to be quite a bit more than something like a KX2 or a KX3 or a uh, maybe a QCX or something like that. Um, the aim of this radio isn't to be um, everybody's portable radio. Um, however, I have a, a fairly meaty uh, battery uh, that I carry in the boot of the car. So running up to 50 watts isn't a problem for me, and I find that very useful, certainly in the current um, state of the bands, to have a little bit more power available. I do like working QRP, and this radio will do down to one watt. But at the moment, um, it's useful to have up to 50 watts available to me. So what I thought I would do was uh, a little test uh, using a power supply which has a uh, voltmeter and an ammeter on the front panel uh, to give you an idea of the kind of current that would be drawn for a given power level. Now this isn't a particularly scientific experiment but it will give you an idea of what's going on. I hope you find it useful. Okay I'm sorry about the the flare I can't really do much more um, with that uh, because the window is quite bright and I can't get the curtains behind the bench. So um, it is where it is and you can see what's going on. I've got the RG01 here. Um, to the left of it, uh, I've got a, a dummy load and you can just see uh, the bottom of the dummy load here. Uh, I've got my trusty Elenco power supply and a key um, to uh, act as my PTT. And I've set the Elenco to 12 uh, volts to emulate uh, a battery. Now, bear in mind that the RG01 uh, isn't designed as a low current uh, radio. It's not meant like something like a KX2 or a QCX that's meant to be really low uh, on quiescent current and, and all the rest. Um, this is a 50 watt transceiver. Uh, I'm fortunate that I have a juicy enough battery to run it in the field. Uh, but let's have a look and see what the figures are like. So we'll just turn it on. So just let that settle. And it's about 600 milliamps. Well, this isn't particularly scientific, but it will give you an idea of what's going on. I suspect I could lower that 600 milliamps by turning down the brightness of the LCD, etc. But at the moment, for mine, its quiescent current is about 600 milliamps. So if you look at the right hand side here of the display as I dial, you will see the power uh, P and that means P5 is 5 watts. So I'm going to key up on 5 watts and see what we get. And it settles at around 3.7 amps. Bear in mind this is key down of course. On SSB it would be somewhat less. So let's turn the power up to 10 watts. And at 10 watts we're at 4.9 amps. We'll go up to 15. And at 15, we're at 5.8 amps. Go up to 20. And at 20 watts, we're at 6.6 .6 amps. We'll go up to 30 watts. And 30 watts is showing about 8 amps. Go up to 40 watts. Forty watts is nine point one amps, and at fifty watts, we're showing nine point six amps. So there we are, going through the power levels. 
Obviously, I haven't bothered with every single power level, but that gives you an idea of the current drawn for uh, a particular power level uh, input to the uh, dummy load. So there you are. Um, that's what I found using the Mission RGO one and that's fine by me. Um, I'll have no problem running those current levels uh, for quite a few hours. It would be interesting to look at my KX3 uh, and see how that balances um, with the um, current levels that are drawn by the Mission RGO one um, at the lower power levels. And I'll do that in another video. Until the next time, thanks very much for watching. Cheerio.